This exercise is about creating speed tables. A speed table is a, a set of stations that determines different speeds along your alignment. <clears throat> this function is currently, a speed table is currently needed to be defined to be able to create Kant alignment, but speed tables in the future will also be serving to different commands like overhead line design. <clears throat> so let's create our speed table. I go to my real tab and from here I select the speed table option. It asks me to locate an alignment. I select my main alignment here and it asks me for a design speed. This is the default design speed. I select 120 km per hour and now my speed table is created. As you can see the speed table is created with a single entry that goes from the start station to end station. A speed table uh, cannot be created for a part of your geometry. It is always from start to end. To open the speed table, if, if you just close this, you can also select the speed table command again and when you click on the geometry it will uh, display the speed table. If there is a speed table it will display that and if there is no speed table it will create a new one. So now we have a single entry that defines the speed along our alignment as 120. So let's continue with uh, adding more speed ranges. So I just go and select this option here. Now it asks me for a station value. Now suppose that in here, in this geometry, we have a different speed requirement starting from this region. So the, I type in the station as 4000, enter. So it locked to 4000, click on here, and it asks me for a speed. So I just reduce the speed to 90 km in here. And I click to accept. So you can see that now I have two ranges, 0 to 4000, test 120, and after that it is 90 km. Let's add one more uh, speed range. So I again use the add new command. This time as station, I enter a value of 10,500. Now again, it locked to that station here accept and then change the speed back to 120. So we can see that now we have three ranges. The speed table also allows you to um, define more than one speed uh, schema. That is, if we go to here at speed schema button, I just select this. And you see that now a second set of, a second column is created for a second set of speed values. Let's first rename these columns. I rename this first one as express. So these are the uh, express speed values for express trains. And the second one, uh, rename it as fright. We can assign uh, different values to this uh, second column. So let's change this first value to 90, hit enter. The second value to 70. And the last one to 90 again. You can also continue adding new speed schemas yeah, with the same method. We can close the speed table by using this button here. If you found this video helpful, please give it a like. If you want to see more such series, consider subscribing to our channel. Thank you, and see you next time.